Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I'm out here today to spread some grass seed with an electric spreader on the loader of my tractor. And I think that's going to be a really convenient way to do it, but I've never used it this way before, so it'll be a little bit of a learning experience. My tractor's doing a regen right now, so I decided to just come down here and see how the pond was doing. The ground's pretty wet right now because we had a rain two days ago, but I just looked and I'm getting a steady drip of water out of this drain pipe that I ran down to the pond. And so I feel like if two days after the rain, that's still dripping, it's 100% pulling groundwater, which is the whole purpose of installing these drain lines down to the pond. You can see that my bank has some erosion going on and, and next time I get the mini excavator out here, we need to fix that up a little bit. But overall, I'm thrilled with the way the pond's doing. As soon as that gets done, I'll go up there and show you guys the spreader I'm using and give you my thoughts on it. Here's the FastCast 400 spreader that I got from Curtis Industries. It's an electric spreader. You know, I always anticipated I would get a three-point PTO spreader, but there are some advantages to this, and I can't say for sure better or worse, but I can tell you what I like about this. Number one, it's very easy on-off. I got a few questions about setup time. It's got a pin right here through a receiver. You can put this anywhere you have a receiver. That can be the back of the tractor, front of the tractor, an ATV, your truck. You just need that, that tube. So you just slide it in, put the pin through, and then you have two other components. One is a cable that opens and closes the chute that lets the salt or the seed down into the spreader. Then you have a quick connect electrical setup here. You plug in your black wire here and your red wire here, and I left those connected to the battery, and that's really all there is to it. I originally got this to be a salt spreader. I think it's gonna be really handy to be used for a little bit of everything. I'm going to open and close the chute just to show you how that works. And that's just a matter of determining how much material you want to come out at a time. There's an optional feature, which is a variable speed controller for the actual spreader on the bottom of this, but I didn't get the, the speed controller. So my concern, my only concern about using this the way we're going to use it is that it might spread too fast. So I've only got the chute opened about a third of the way Whereas with the salt, I had it almost all the way open. So we're hooked up here. I run these right up to the operator station. One thing I talked about when I was doing the videos on spreading salt is that I originally thought I would use this a lot on the four-wheeler, but when I'm using the four-wheeler, it's hard to see if it's spreading. You're trying to drive with your neck turned and your whole body turned the whole time and it's still hard to see if anything's coming out and not only that but sometimes your material sticks to the side and you've got to knock it down but if you put it on your loader you can lift it up high enough you can see if anything's coming out and also if it stops coming out you just shake your loader handle and it'll knock all that down What I'm using here is a Kentucky 31 tall fescue. 50 pound bag of this is about 100 bucks. And I wanna make sure this is gonna work before I buy too much of it. I actually used a little hand spreader and it took a, quite a bit of time. I spread a bunch of grass seed out here in the fall and haven't seen any results from that yet. Even though we've been in the 70s the last couple weeks. But we're coming into that rainy season and I want to get a good test and see how well this is going to work because I actually have a lot of area I'd like to overseed.
So like I said, I spread some grass seed out here in the fall by hand with a walk behind spreader. It's actually pretty time consuming and a lot of carrying the bags. This was so much quicker, so much easier. But whether you spread enough salt, seed, fertilizer, all types of material to justify the cost, this is a decision you'll have to make. But product works perfectly. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links over here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.